Hi, just a quick video. This is going to be an experiment because somebody asked, um, the previous video I did on this um, LCD that I just uh, released, somebody asked, well, what happens if you do leave the DC, or if you do have the DC bias on the LCD? What actually happens to it? How long does it take to actually kill it? And I thought that's an interesting question. So I'm going to run an experiment to find out like a long-term experiment. So what I've done here is I've taken the exact same um, uh, thing before. It's the same wiring except the common pin now. The common pin is actually going down to ground. So instead of going being driven um, alternate phase, like I explained in the previous video, I'll link it in if you haven't seen it, um, I'll, uh, I'm going to drive it like common ground. So we're simply driving each segment is, it's not 100 hertz driven anymore, it's not frequency uh, driven at all, it's simply turning a segment on, off. So I've got it counting up from um, 0 to 9, and it's simply the Arduino outputs here are simply outputting a 1. That's it. So obviously um, we're going to introduce, a, we're going to have a long-term DC bias on this LCD. So I thought I'd just whack it in the corner here, leave it running 24-7, and see what eventually happens to it will it will it fade out will the uh, liquid crystals in there I don't know harden up or do whatever and they just won't switch on anymore or they'll stay on or they'll stay off or will it yeah eventually fade I don't know well we'll try it who knows it could, it could last forever that'd be kind of embarrassing wouldn't it but no the the experts the manufacturers the experts in the industry all tell you the correct way to drive them is not to have a DC BIOS on there because that will eventually ruin them but I, off the top of my head I don't know how long that actually takes so this will be an interesting experiment we'll find out so I'll just keep this running it'll just keep counting up and I'll keep you posted hmm interesting by the way if I take that out and plug it into 5 volts hang on I can see <laughs> It's now inverse. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> because, there you go. And the good thing is, look, if, well, no, hang on. Plug it back into ground. There we go, we're counting up. If I disconnect ground, it still works. <laughs> it still works, but, yeah, see, it started, it started to fade there a little bit. There you go. It's a little bit dodgy. That's just the capacitance of the, uh, the charge build up on the capacitive um, segments on the LCD and stuff like that. So if you wave your hand over it, fart across the room, it'll change. All that sort of stuff. So there you go. I'm going to uh, plug that back in. If I can damn well see this, the black connectors. There you go. I'm just going to leave it in the corner. Keep you posted. I <laughs> should have put a webcam on it 24-7. World's most boring webcam. Catch you next time.